Surround Lounge, we're going to now start covering mixing tutorials, which we're going to start off with a quick introductory scope on panning in 5.1. Panning is essentially what makes the real difference between uh, stereo and 5.1 in the first place, in that this is the use of speakers to create phantom images. This is done through placing audio in uh, a certain specific region within the surround field. The surround field, of course, encompasses the circle around the listener, with the listener in the middle, which is called the sweet spot, and how you can make them listen to the music as if they're, or listen to the audio, I should say, uh, as if there's a speaker playing it from a position where the speaker is not. This can be done through having a, a source come through, for example, the left channel quite weakly and the surround left channel quite strongly to create the illusion that somewhere between the two, but nearer the surround left channel, there is the source of that sound. Alternatively, you can have a bit of audio uh, placed directly where the listener is, and as such, the audio will play through all of the speakers equally to reach them at the same time at the same amplitude. This can be done through the surround pot, which is the, much like you when you had when we were working in stereo, there would be a line. You now have a circle to work with. In this circle, the top of the circle represents the center channel, and Everything else is respective of that. So the bottom left and the bottom right represents the surround left and the surround right and so on. To pan a track, all you have to do is select a position in the circle where you want that uh, audio to be played. For. This will automatically be interpreted by your DAW processor to reiterate the levels of these speakers around you. As such, if you position the sound to appear directly behind the listener, it will be played out of both surround channels, but it will create the illusion that that uh, sound is coming from directly behind them even though there's no speaker there to play it. You can make great use out of the possibilities of panning in 5.1. I hope that you experiment, find some things out, and send in your experiences and your thoughts to the surround lounge at gmail.com as always. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.